Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the brand new highlight feature that Roblox just added. It can be used for making models visible through walls or giving your models a nice outline. And also, uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these bricks that will give you an outline, a highlight, just so that you can use it for, just so that you can know how to use it and uh, use it for your own projects. And uh, also, before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they are all be they are all available in my Patreon. Okay, so let's start. What I'm going to start with is just delete these parts so that I can show you how to make new ones. And what I have here is just some parts that are not collidable. They can be collidable, by the way. And they are anchored. And what I'm going to do is show you how this uh, highlight feature works so if I just go ahead and add a part here and scale it up and add a press the plus icon and add a highlight to it as you can see this happens and if you select your highlight uh, it has uh, a couple of properties the first one is Dorney uh, if you add your highlight, change the adorning to the part you want to highlight or the model you want to highlight. So for me, it's this part. So I'm going to click on it. And there is the depth mode. And this is basically if you want it to, uh, if you want to see your model through walls or not. So right now it's set to always on top. And as you can see, I can see the uh, part through any walls. And there is also the, uh, by the way, the depth mode, it, you can use always on top, which is the one I just showed, or the occluded one. And what this does is basically the opposite of always on top. So if I do this, you can't really see it. And there is the other property called enabled. And this is pretty much just enabling or disabling your highlight. And then the fill color. And if you change it, this is what happens. It pretty much gives your uh, part a color to fill it with. And there is the fill transparency, which as the name suggests, it's the fill transparency. I can change it and let's make it 0.5. And there is the name. I'm pretty sure you you already know what that is. And the outline color, which is pretty much the outline color. So as you can see, if I change it to black, the outline becomes black. Sadly, there is no outline thickness property for whatever reason. I wish they added that. There is also the outline transparency, which again is just the outline transparency. And then the parent, which we are not really going to use. And this also works with models. So if I just go ahead and drag some random model from the toolbox, maybe a, uh, let's use this, uh, let's use, okay, I'm just going to use this uh, car model. Uh, where is it? Okay, this car model. And if I add a highlight to it, a highlight to it this is what happens it gives it a nice highlight and you can change the fill color and it will still work with models and it also works with meshes so if i just drag in a mesh a mesh not an image uh this potato over here if i add a highlight to it it will work with it too so that's pretty cool so I'm just going to get rid of these objects and show you how to make the bricks. So how can you uh, script this? So what you can do is add a part and I'm going to change its color to red. And I'm going to duplicate it and add another part. But this time this one will be uh, green and I'm going to duplicate it and this one will be blue. And what I'm going to do is select the red one and I'm going to press the plus icon and I'm going to add a script. And what I'm going to do is add a proximity prompt to this. So proximity prompt. And I'm going to uh, just enter the script and I'm going to do local part. This is equal to script.parent. And this is just a reference for the part. 
and then a reference for the proximity prompt so local proximity prompt is equal to part uh, dot proximity prompt again this is just a reference for the proximity prompt just like we did for the part and then what we're gonna do is create a function for giving the player a highlight so give a uh, local function give highlight and it will take the player as an argument and what i'm going to do is proximity prompt dot triggered so whenever we press the keys that the proximity prompt has uh colon connect and give highlight we just call the give highlight function so whenever we trigger this we call the give highlight function and what i'm going to do is get the player character from the player name so local character is equal to player dot character again this is just a reference for the character and what i'm going to do is check if the player already has a highlight in his character if so we're going to destroy it so to do that it's very simple if parentheses by the way the parentheses are not that important you can not use them if you want to so if character on find first child of class so if we find a child of the class highlight then and i'm just going to do character colon find first child of class highlight on destroy so if we find a class that's a highlight then we'll just destroy it and after we destroy the highlight, what we're going to do is create a new one. So local highlight is equal to instance.new and highlight. And I'm just going to add a highlight to this part just so that I can copy the properties uh, highlight. So what we're going to do is highlight.adorny is equal to character. And highlight dot depth mode is equal to uh, enum dot depth mode dot uh, highlight depth mode dot always on top and highlight dot enabled is equal to true and highlight dot fill color and we're gonna set it to a an RGB value so I'm just going to create local uh, a variable for the uh, fill color. And it will be set to color three dot from RGB, and uh, uh, you can just press this little icon in here when you press this, and click this little color wheel here, and then just choose a color. So for me, it's going to be red. And by the way, what this is doing is it's basically just creating a highlight. Setting Sadorni to the character, the death mode, the enable property, and the fill color to the fill color. And highlight dot uh, outline color is equal to outline color. Outline color. And we have not created a uh, variable for this, so we're going to do the same thing. Local outline color is equal to color 3 dot from RGB. And uh, I'm just going to select white. And then highlight, actually, uh, highlight, yes, highlight dot fill transparency. Fill transparency will be set to uh, maybe 0 0.6. And then highlight dot uh, outline transparency will be set to 0. And then we're going to parent the highlight to the character. And now if you play the game, that should work with the red brick. So I'm just going to get rid of this highlight and play the game. And hopefully it should work just fine. So if I just view the output and go here and press E, as you can see, it gave me a nice highlight. And if I go behind walls, as you can see, players can see me through anything, which is very cool. But as you can see, we have to implement this for the other uh bricks so i'm just going to copy the proximity prompt of this part and the script of this part and then select both of these parts and right click by the way the way i selected both of them is by holding control and right click paste into selected 
I'm going, I'm going to enter the script of the green part and change its fill color to green. <coughs> uh, sorry, uh, green. And then I'm just going to change the uh, blue one to, well, blue. And now if I play the game, I should be able to switch back and forth from highlights, different highlights. So now I have a red highlight, now a green one, and now a blue one. And as you can see, they all work. And maybe I can make the blue one, uh, uh, I'm going to change this highlight depth mode to occluded. And let me show you what that does. It pretty much will just give highlight to my character. So as you can see, it does have the fill color and everything, but I can't see through walls. But as you can see, it does have this nice effect where if you like do this, you can still see uh, the outline like this. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. If this helps, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!